I mean, I know the results because I'm able to look at them online, but my doctor is going to discuss them with me. Basically, I know that my vitamin D is really, really low. Like, it had the little warning sign beside it, so that's a problem. Basically, it means I'm a vampire like I thought I was. I don't get enough sun because I work from home, so I'm always, like, inside. So, because it's summer, we have to be going for more walks. And I'm upping my D vitamin dose. And what else was low? My iron was not critically low, but it's always been low, which means my hemoglobin is low. That's how you say it, I don't know. But I have a lot of low things, so I'm assuming my doctor wants me to come in today to discuss how to get those higher because I've never had to go in for an appointment just for blood work results, so it makes me kind of nervous, but I mean, I already have seen the blood work, so it's not too bad, so we'll see what happens there. But that's the plan, we're going there, then we're going to my mom's house to pick up wipes for Winnie, and we'll probably have some food there because we did not eat breakfast this morning because we were rushing and then after that I have to go and pick up one of my bridesmaids dresses because she is currently in Quebec I believe I think she's in Quebec right now so she can't pick it up and so I'm getting that for her and then we're going back home and that's the plan so yeah your hair flip? Yeah. I tried my best, guys. Sorry. <laughs> just imagine it just to get the full effect. Yeah. Totally. I totally see it. Yeah. Anyways, though, we will keep you updated on what happens at the doctors and yeah, talk to you soon. Okay. 2,000 years later. Alright, update. So, we're on the way back from the doctor. I have been given some pharmacy instructions. I have to go to the pharmacy and get some pretty high grade what's it called? Iron. And I have to double up on my vitamin D. So instead of just a thousand IU per day, I have to take 2,000. So there's that. So just two things. And then I have a heart appointment in November because it takes that long for me to see a cardiologist, which is really fun. Anyways, though, I have to do a mini rant because I was just telling Ty <laughs> about my rant. And he was like, you have to like vlog this. So we go into the doctor and like I'm already like a high stress, high anxiety person. I'm very like it makes personal life very space. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm just high anxiety like I can't there's a lot of things that I can't do because of my anxiety and I just get bothered easily by like people and situations so anyways we arrive at the doctors and literally there's like 30 empty chairs okay there's only one other lady sitting in the waiting room and I've never seen the doctor's office like this it was so empty okay millions of chairs so Ty and I we go and sit in two chairs away from the lady who's sitting because everyone wants their personal space, right? So we're sitting there for like five minutes. These two oh, people come in, uh -oh. this couple. The what? guy right in front of us, he lost his baby on board. What do you mean? It fell off, it's gonna drive away. Is it? I just saw it just drop. It's no longer gonna have a baby on board, Jess. Anyways, this couple walks in, okay, and they go up to the pharmacy. The pharmacy is like in the waiting room and they like order their prescription or whatever. And like I said, there's 30 empty chairs. What do they do? They snuggle up and sit on the chairs right beside us. Right beside us, okay? Keep in mind, we're in a doctor's office. I have low immunity. My immune system is gone. I don't want to sit right next to people who have possible illnesses, okay? It's nothing against human beings. It's the fact that we're in an area where sick people go, okay? They sit right next to us. I feel their arms on my arms. We're like in this little snuggle fest when every other seat in the entire doctor's office is open, okay? But I'm not the type of person who's confrontational. I'm not going to look at them and be like, you can't sit here because, listen, they have every right to sit there as much as I have every right to sit there. You can't tell them they can't. So I'm like there. I'm starting to get anxiety because this lady is coughing on my actual neck, okay? My exposed t-shirt neck. I'm not wearing a coat. I feel her breath and her cough droplets on my neck and I look at her 
she looks at me and keeps coughing, okay? We're snuggled. Thank goodness the nurse called me into the room because I couldn't sit there. I couldn't, were they still there when I left? They got called in about five minutes after you left and they left right before. I just, I, I don't under, I. Maybe the doctor got mad that they were coughing on her too. I just don't understand. I get if the room is full, I get that. But when it's not and you have ample space, take advantage of it. Some people just like cuddling. I get that, but not in a doctor's office, you know what I mean? Is someone honking at you? Nothing I can do, I have right away. They need to stop being impatient. Anyways, that's my doctor's story. We're gonna go to my mom's house and pick up Winnie's thing and then we have to do another Black Mirror rant. So if you clicked on this video for the Black Mirror rant, it's coming. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that after. Just life happens first, okay? Yeah, I had to rant about this first. But anyway, Black Mirror rant coming very soon. A few inches later. Okay, we're back in the car again. I know every time you're watching this, we're just in the same position. <laughs> they can see the scenery moving. We're going somewhere. Yeah. This might be first time. No, drive. it's a green screen. <laughs> anyway, so like promised, we're gonna talk about the Miley Cyrus episode of Black Mirror. So I spoke about this in the last vlog, but overall, this is probably my least favorite Black Mirror season ever. It sucks because I was so excited for this season. I was like really anticipating it. I was sad there's only three episodes, but I was still so excited. And it really, really disappointed me. I mean, let's be real. All the episodes were good. It's not like they were bad. Like it was well acted. It was well acted, well put together, well It's the production everything. quality that you expect. Oh it yeah, is. it's gorgeous. Like everything about it is good you it's know topics i want it's not even like the topic i just like i don't know i wasn't it's, mind it's, blown like, i felt like the writing wasn't the strongest that it could have the been. writing you think well it's because a lot of the stuff that if you ever watched the previous seasons of black mirror it's disturbing because of when you think about it we're getting close to the technology that they're showing yeah and of course it's showing like the worst you know case scenario of what's going to happen yeah but like the subject matter that they were trying to explain in this one. Yes, it's a lot of stuff that's kind of close. The second one was based in the present with like modern day technology, but it didn't have the same freak out factor. I just wasn't have. mind blown. I feel like the first four seasons that I watched, after every episode, I like couldn't sleep. It shook me and that's what I loved about Black Mirror. I feel like after these three episodes, I was kind of like, uh, it was like, okay. They don't make you think deeply. They didn't make me afraid. I don't know, it didn't give me the same effect that the other seasons gave me. And I wanted to specifically talk about the Miley Cyrus episode. And I'm gonna be brutally honest, and a lot of people won't agree with me, but I think people have to have their own opinions. And I don't think it's fair to freak out at somebody for having a different opinion than you. So just take what I'm saying, you know, take it in. Don't take it too seriously. If you loved the episode, that's fine. Everyone could love different things. It didn't do it for me. And here's the thing. It had a great message, you know, great morals. It's all about doing what you want to do, staying true to yourself and not being bossed around or told what to do in your life. Great message. I totally agree with the message. I just think that if I had seen that episode on its own and someone didn't tell me it was Black Mirror, they were just like, hey, there's this movie. I would have never associated it with the Black Mirror series because it didn't have that vibe. It was like a standalone movie about a singer who was being told what to do, really sad story, blah, blah, blah. Didn't scare me, didn't give me any serious mind-blowing vibes, like I said before. It was just okay. It was good. Miley Cyrus, you know, she did a good job acting-wise. It was very much the story of Hannah Montana. It was a story of Hannah honest. Montana. It's a story about her life and how she was in the Hannah Montana vibe and tried to get out of it as she got older. That was basically her life story, which was cool. They made it into a Black Mirror episode. Totally get that. Didn't love it. Really didn't love it. And I know a lot of people online are loving it. Like I tweeted last night how I really didn't like this season of Black Mirror and a lot of my subscribers were saying, but no, but it was awesome because Miley Cyrus was in it. But that shouldn't be the be all end all. You know what I mean? Just because a cool singer is in a show shouldn't mean that it's the best thing you've ever seen. You have to actually look at the storyline, look at 
how it fits into the whole series and I personally didn't think it fit into the series. It was great on its own. And I was telling Ty this earlier, I think Black Mirror had this theory that they wanted to get a younger audience watching the show because the past four years it's been out, they've had a very older audience because it's a very serious show with very, very serious very subject dark. matter. The first episode is just... Uh... Yeah, younger kids aren't watching it and I think they wanted to reach out to a broader audience with that episode so they think, hey, Miley Cyrus, every kid knows her. She was in Hannah Montana. Let's make an episode with her in it and gain all of her audience because that's what happened. She's promoting it, you know, everyone's excited she's in it. So Black Mirror was a genius in the way that they did that because now everyone sort of flocked to Black Mirror, right? I feel like a lot of the tweets I've been seeing are people saying, never watched Black Mirror before, but I watched her episode and it was awesome. Which like, ugh, it sucks because I wish they would have, I go wish- Go see the other episodes. Go watch the other oh. episodes too, you know? Don't just base your opinion off one episode just because you love Miley Cyrus. I feel like I'm being really harsh right now, but I'm just, I need to be honest and get my feelings out. For the long-term fans that have watched Black Mirror, I just feel like, it didn't get to me and that's just my opinion maybe you're a long-term fan and you loved it that's great that's totally fine i just feel like they were trying to reach out to a younger audience and it didn't really do it for me so that's just my opinion on it let me know yours down below in the comment section if you disagree with me tell me i feel like we're allowed to have our own opinions on things and it's okay all right <laughs> like with me i love like terrible movies that people really don't like, but I think they're fantastic. I know there's a movie when I grew up, like it did well, people who watched it loved it, but I'm not sure if it did well critically. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is Keanu Reeves when he's really young. <laughs> and it's basically making fun of Doctor Who. And it was hilarious. Like, it was just so, like, campy and silly. And they're making a new one now, like, 30 years later, and I'm actually genuinely excited for it. Yeah. But yeah, no, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. If something brings you joy, and it doesn't hurt anybody, of course, Yeah. do it. Yeah. Like, like what you like. Everyone's allowed to disagree, everyone's allowed to agree. Anyways, that's my opinion, and we're just about to pick up my bridesmaid's dresses, so we'll get back to you in a second. I swear we're getting in and out of the car, okay? <laughs> we are doing it, so we're gonna go in now. Eventually. So we ended up going to a restaurant on the way home, so we're finally out of the car, and Ty we got, actually do go places Ty on got the soup and a gluten-free burger, and I got some chicken and Caesar salad, and... Like, let me plate, though. I can spin it. Yeah. Put the burger in front of me. When I want the burger. What are you doing? You spin it like watch. I can spin it back when I want the soup. Or you can just easily go back and forth. <laughs> So hey guys, it's the next day now. Jesse and I kind of got home and kind of forgot to actually close the actual vlog. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and our few rants. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the next vlog. See you guys.